Okay, so would you like to tell us about your fly? <laughs> well, this is a orange foam hopper. Typically, do you typically use that out here on the ocean? Yeah, for tuna, tuna love hoppers. Okay, good. Oh. Let's see how this works. Well, let's see. My line. What? What happened? I have to it. Do you have to twitch it at all? Well, no, really. Look at that. So he boiling it, so maybe needs a little bit of action. You might want to cast out that way a little bit. Toss it out there, dude. All right. Don't put your hands in. Down. There you go. No, they're underneath there. Got it? Out of the water. Over, it. over the fly. So apparently they may not like the color of this fly, or they're not used they're not used to seeing a hopper at this time of year. It is a little bit later in the hopper season. Maybe you need to twitch your hopper. Throw some bait in the hopper. Yeah, the faster. Skate the hopper. Make it look like it's alive. Open hatch. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Open hatch behind you guys. Open hatch. Are you guys listening? Open hatch. Watch the hole. Michael. What is it? I'm not moving. They will eat a hopper on a twitch. I'm gonna throw that. So, do you often fish like Montana out here on the uh, uh, on the Pacific side yeah, of the? Yeah, the, the presentation is really important. You got to use like super light leaders. Are there any colors of hoppers that you found to be more effective out here in the Pacific Ocean? Yeah, the blue hoppers seem to work really well. Would you like to pose with your fish? That is not lasso. You got him right there in the mouth. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. And that's how you fish terrestrials in the Pacific. That's very excellent, Rob. Thank you very much. And what do you do for a living? Um, I run a Coco Te Eco Inn on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. Do you ever use hoppers down there? Never tried them. You might, you might try them for permit now. I will. <laughs>